All right, welcome back to another episode of The Mick Road to the Show. I'm SRD. We're taking on the Boston Red Sox at the Fenway. Uh, just to let you know, I've been sick. Um, a couple weeks ago, one of my last time I recorded, I got some, you know, had a cold and it just got worse, a severe bronchitis, a lot of laryngitis, and I've been extremely, extremely busy, so I have not been able to do any videos. Uh, probably going to be relegated to do them just on the weekends and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, it's been a couple weeks, and I'm still feeling the effects of this, this bronchitis. So. Plus the new job I got is making, I'm working like 12 hours a day, so it's been a bear, but here we are, Mickey, look great, Mickey, oh, knuckleballer, oh dear me, oh no, Mickey, oh, oh, that's triple, that's a triple, keep running, dude, you better run, Looks like he hesitated there at third base, man. I'm like, that's an easy triple. I just tied the single season hit record. I think I probably did that last season, too. But, you know, whatever. Move over, Ichiro. Here comes the Mick. Batting fourth, the catcher number 40, Wilson Ramos. There we go. There we go. Up the middle. Good hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a two nothing ball game. Standing in. You have to excuse me if you're hearing a lot of sniffling, sneezing, coughing, hacking. I'll try to mute as quick as I can when I get a fit, but uh, it's been that type of uh, thing, you know. There's a base hit, buddy. Is that the, oh, Xander Bogarts. All right, let's go. I got uh, all fielding opportunities. So you're going to see a lot of fielding, maybe some chances to throw people out, even though I don't have the greatest arm because I haven't really. But, uh, Mickey's back, and the knuckleballer is still in there. He's set and the pitch. There's a swing, and he sends Ooh. a ball high in the air and looking up his And it's gone up into those uh, seats. And I'm sitting on top of the record. Come on out, guys. Give Mick the honor that he is due. Ichiro's in the stand somewhere watching, saying, way to go, Mick. Way to go. Let's just celebrate. And there's a home run. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and it's, uh, what, uh, two weeks after the All-Star break. Oh. There, all right, all right, all right. He's not on the team anymore, the Panda. David Price is still on the team. Yep, even the Red Sox got to give him the old kudos. Bravo, Zulu. Max, kudos. Yeah, yeah, we love you. Yeah, yeah, it's it's all about you, the fans. It's all about you, the fans. That's the way Mick feels. All right, we're back. We got another uh, opportunity to go deep here. And, ooh, you know, we could be looking at a cycle here. We could be looking at the cycle here. All I need is, is a single for the cycle. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate MVP candidate this season. Whenever he he's legit. Produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. Let's go over to third base. Shall we steal? Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get down. All right. Bad throw. Bad throw. Didn't get a great jump. Turned off the show time. No show time. Uh, it makes it a little harder to steal. A little more of a challenge. Six runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Yeah, see, it's real hard to steal home. There's a curveball blocked by McCann. You didn't need to get dirty, Mick. 
Yeah, and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Ready on two yeah, balls just and two too hard to Here time it. it swung on and, hit and that's three. And he'll get All right. There in plenty of time to put this one All right. In, that ends the inning. So I need to single for the cycle. Ready for another chance. One of my new favorite Andrew players, Benintendi. Andrew Benatendi. I'm a big Red Sox fan, man. I do have my uh, Carl Yastrzemski character, the great, uh, ooh, look what I got. Uh, the great Red Sox Hall of Famer. And I'm going to bring him back uh, before too long. I've been on hiatus, got a little burned out. Playing all these different characters made it a little difficult. But, uh, Line drive to oh no. Ah. Is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Oh, no, do I get another at bat? That's the question. Bet attendee again. again. We're up ten to four. I should have another at bat. I get a chance at the cycle. Runner on first. There's nobody out, so if the ball's hitting the ground. Now a swing and a fly ball. Oh, you got it. You got it. Oh, he don't got it. He don't got it. Get him. Oh, bad. Come on, dude. You had him nailed. You had him nailed at second base, man. You had. You just had need to make a good throw to the second base or to the shortstop. All right. Come on. Need a single. Need a single. Need a single. There it is. Woohoo! Way to come back. Mickey's hits for the cycle. After breaking the, the record for the most hits in a season. He's been just awesome to watch. Wow. I mean, a cycle is such a rarity, and it's one of the coolest things you can witness. Not as cool as breaking 262 hit record, though. I mean, there's only one other person that got up to 262. Now a move over oh. to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Runner at first right. here, one man out. Taking the lead. Oh, okay, he's not going to throw over three times. He he's not going to throw over three times. Stealing right. Ooh, slides that. Oh. How many else is there? I didn't even check. Okay, I needed to get back, obviously. And he will That's scurry good. back to first as he'll think twice about trying to All right. Up. Now, okay, there's oh, two outs now. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. Runner goes for second. Pitches a cold strike to throw. Nope. A lollipop throw. See, I don't, I don't get great jumps. That's right. If I had Showtime, I'd get a great jump every time, but it makes it a little harder. That's fine. And now the runner's trying for third. Oh, dude. Yeah, now there's two strikes, so going anyway. Mickey wants to get to third base. He'll try again one two. And the runner's breaking for third. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw in time and the side is retired. Good thing you got him, would have scored. All right. And Here's the panda. The panda. He was a Ten to four, two outs runner time. on first base. Minor sets. Let's two, go. Two pitch on its way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. All right. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores, but man, that ball was hit hard up the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, get another at bat. Ready for another shot now. Mickey Mantle. Mm. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Oh, that's another double. Out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. And to score, the runner from second. And he'll make it to second All right. base now with two gone. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for He's him celebrating here. big Those time. Breaks the hit record, hits the cycle, goes five for five. 
And that should be it. Yeah, we win easily. Joe Girardi's thinking, oh my gosh, it's so easy with Mickey. Why couldn't I have had him a couple years ago? There's the Mick. And he's in center field, too. So. All right. Uh, five for six, home run, triple, two doubles, and five RBIs. Hits for the cycle, breaks the uh, MLB record for single season hits. What else can he do? Let's play another game. After executing a rare batting feat, this player receives a call he would never have expected. All right. The GM calling me, telling me that I'm great for hitting in the cycle, even though I just broke the record. Let's see what he says. Don't get to make this call too often, so I try not to miss it when it rises. What call is that? Uh, rumor has it you may have hit for the cycle. Yeah, I hit for the cycle, but what about breaking the uh, MLB single season hit record? Maybe that's not important. Yeah, may have, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Remember this next time my contract comes up. Thank you. This yeah, is a great feat. His day's work All right. An impression. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, by the way, I was not five for five. I was five for six because I did fly out that one time in that last game. So let's go ahead and play another game. Okay, we're back. We're taking on the Minnesota Twins in Minnesota. What? I don't remember the name of the stadium. Target Field. There we go. I forgot Target is based out of Minneapolis. All right, we're going against Phil Hughes. So so record 508 and 8. PRA under 5. And uh, we're going to see if we're going to we're going to wreck his uh, ERA even more. That piece felt pretty solid. I'm pretty confident that's gone. It's up there in that second deck up there. Yeah. Easy run. Shoot, was there anybody on? Oh, yeah, okay, there was somebody on. I <laughs> don't even pay attention. The Mick. Yeah, he's been standing alone. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hit for the cycle yesterday, broke the single season uh, hit record yesterday. Come on, you guys forget all about the, the good stuff. All right, we got to run our first one out. Play said deep. Okay. I got some range now. I don't need to play that deep. Come on, let's go. Full count. Much me regret comes. that. High fly ball after yeah, I got it. Is there to Just hit the cutoff, man. Hit the, the cutoff, man. No rush. And he will scurry back All to right. First as he'll think twice. All right. Mickey's up again. Once again. Mickey Mantle. Mickey. <laughs> What? What is it? Third inning? They're walking me? And there's ball four now. Yeah, that's one of the perils of being the greatest hitter of all time. And can't blame him. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, we got runners on first and second. Or first and third, I'm going to run. Pitch inside the throw. And it's far too late. Easy peasy. Good steal there. And I'll All right. You, he is a multi-dimensional player out there. Multi-dimensional. Good pop at the plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels. He's a uh, the what they call what do they call it? The five. I don't remember what it's called now. Five something player. My mind is not working. All right. We got nobody on. We got one out. We're up. Pulled toward right center field. Mantle giving chase. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to oh, get to that one. Oh, we have six to nothing, I think. And let me see. Mickey Mantle. One out. You're not walking me this time, are you, jackass? Oh. Only a bingle. All right. Another stolen base opportunity. He's in there easily. Another hit, another multi-hit game. This hot streak has been just, just it just it's a torrent. Some movement now just in the continues to tear it up. He's the greatest player of all time. Greg 
Look, I honestly do not believe that Mickey Mantle was the greatest player of all time in real life. I mean, he had some, he was a great player, even though he struck out like you would not believe. But in this reality, he doesn't strike out. This is like if he was in the perfect health, never got hurt, never had that knee injury, stayed off the booze, didn't didn't worry about the ladies too much. He was married, just just hung out with his wife. You know, this is this is the type of career he may have had. From the wind up, he was that great. Here's a pop up now. You know, I could Pass be totally full of crap too, but it. you know, Two gone. whatever. All right, we're up eight to nothing. Mickey's up two for two, home run and a single. Really want to go deep here. Really want to go deep. Please accommodate. Nope, line drive. Oh, nice play. Got robbed. Got robbed in that line drive shot, man. Let's watch the replay. Look at the skills. Oh, he tripped, actually. It looks like he tripped over his own feet. Or he tripped on the turf. All right, two for three. Mickey Mantle. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line oh, no. Center field. Buxton will get there, and he puts it mm. away to retire mm. Mm. the shot. All right. So three runs on Byron took one away. And we win easily. We win easily. Okay, well, that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, we're six games up on the Red Sox now. Uh, we're going to cruise. We're going to cruise away. I don't think there's any chance of them ever catching us. Mickey was two for four. A so so game for Mickey. It was actually kind of a poor game for the Nick. Uh, home run, two RBIs, three runs scored. But, uh, yeah. All right. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. If you liked the episode, leave a like. If you have not yet subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. We'll catch you next time on SRD Plays The Mick. Road to the show. Bye. You've been watching